Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. So Johnny Depp takes the win. Gets, uh, what was it, 10 million awarded to him plus punitive damages, which were 5 million, but then they remove it to the statutory amount of 350 grand. Uh, Johnny Depp's won, completely won. However, the gaslighting has already begun. Gaslighting's already begun. Amber Heard, the moment it happened, jumped on and released a statement. I've just come off a live stream, live streaming this, by the way, but I need to get out and do these videos as well. This is really important stuff. This is now going to be her attempt to save face, and that's really important that we, that we acknowledge this straight away. She's instantly gaslighting from the off, and it's actually really disgusting. So this is not, uh, you know, this isn't like, oh, conspiracy theory, oh, this is all on her own Twitter, right? Uh, and this is what she shared. This is gaslighting. Disgusting gaslighting. The <sighs> it's, it's truly, she wasn't prepped. Her PR team should have told her, don't do this. Don't do this, Amber. Definitely, please don't do this. Because Jesus wept. This is awful. It looks terrible. There's no coming back from this. You just need to take the L. The disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence... Like, there literally was no evidence. You had no evidence at all. We didn't see any. The evidence of Johnny Depp asleep. That's not evidence. Everyone takes a nap. I mean, he's 50 plus. He's, he's going to take naps, all right? It's not a big deal. Let the man have a nap. Oh, you took, you took photos of <gasps> wine on the floor. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> you have a video of him hitting his cabinets, which coincidentally... The video of the cabinets always makes me laugh and chuckle because they're glass. They're like, they're, they're you know, wooden surrounds and they've got glass in the middle, right? If he was really hitting them hard, the glass would have shattered. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Not to mention, there's glass in the cabinets. So if he was really smashing it hard, remember this is mountains of evidence. If he was really smashing it hard, the glass of the cabinet would have smashed and the glass in the cabinet would have smashed. It always makes me laugh. But apparently, the mountain of evidence was still not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. You wrecked his life for six years. <clears throat> six years you destroyed his life. Not exactly power and influence and sway, is it? He was vilif... Like, everyone hated him. Obviously not everyone. Like I get it. Like I've been following this case, and I I was on his side. Periodically, I kept doing videos periodically, and I said on my live stream, it's amazing to see it churn like change. Because when I was releasing those videos, they weren't getting lots of views. I didn't think many people were interested. I was interested. I was really I was interested, very interested. But they weren't, and now instantly, boom, this has captured the world, and really good this is great for society but anyway this bullshit statement continues uh, and even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women that's right ladies and gents amber heard guilty women most affected now are you joking are you absolutely joking right now fuck this is gaslighting this is actual, this is just gaslighting. So I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. Yeah, we can't spew bollocks and have people just randomly believe us without evidence. Oh no. Yeah, if that's the setback, yeah, good. Good, I'm glad. Good. Uh, it sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. Yes, if they're lies. Yeah, if they're lies, definitely, yeah. 100%, yeah. Absolutely. That should have always been the case. 100%. If someone's talking nonsense, they should be humiliated. They should be poked fun at. They should become a meme. 
Because you shouldn't be able just to go out in the media and wreck and destroy someone's life straight away. It's wrong. It's completely wrong. It's morally wrong. It's disgusting. Anyway, continues. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because the best argument to have with anyone in this entire situation was always... When anyone believed, you know, support Amber, we love Amber, whatever. Was if you were to take her words and put it in the mouth of a man, what would they have thought? So if Johnny Depp was the one that had sat there and said... I wasn't, you know, I didn't punch you, I was hitting you. Instantly, you would have been destroyed. No one, no one, ladies and gents, men don't support other men that beat up women. Men don't support women that beat up women. It's always men that jump in the way of other men beating up women. Men, that chivalry that people want to still exist, it definitely exists. You go on a, like a really horrible night out, or just, just go out and about, and you'll see like really rough areas. Men will always jump in the way. Men do protect women. They want to. Right? Like, it's inbuilt in us. It's what we do. So, no, this nonsense of, oh, the violence against women is fine. No. It needs to be taken seriously when there's serious evidence. Well, you can't just go out there and go, well, my dog stepped on a bee and he trashed the place. When the owner literally says that wasn't the case. Fucking joke. I believe Johnny's attorney succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech. Your constitution, right... Freedom of speech does not negate the law. You can't defame someone. Freedom of speech doesn't allow you to defame someone, you idiot. That is what a moronic statement. Uh, and ignore evidence that was so conclusive that we won in the UK. Yeah, well, I'm from the UK. The UK's judicial system is, a, is, an, is an absolute joke, and I'm happy to say that. So no, you won in the UK because we're a joke. Right? The judicial system in the UK is a joke. I'm sad I lost this case, but but you couldn't cry once. You couldn't cry once, remember? No real tears. <sighs> but I am sadder still that I seem to have lost the right I thought I had as an American to speak freely and openly. Love, come on now. If I defamed you, you'd sue me. And if I stood there and said, yeah, but my freedom of speech, you'd go... Fuck off, mate. Come on now. What a joke. Gaslighting. It continues. It's disgraceful. But we won, guys. We won. And and I say guys. I don't mean men. Guys, everyone. Universal. We won. Society won. Morally, we won. This is a big win. This is the step in the right direction that needed to happen. <sighs> 